in the post lab, you're supposed to uh, prepare. Uh, so I'm looking at page 42. And um, it's number five, for example, says using data from table six and the rate law from question 3C, calculate the rate constant for K2 at T2 and K3 at T, uh, at T3. So K1 is the rate constant for this chemical reaction. And that's at T1, which is room temperature. You did two different hot, uh, warm water baths. This is the rate constant at T2. That was about 15 or so degrees above room temperature. And K3 that was about you know 30 or 40 30 or, or so degrees 20 or 30 degrees above room temperature so you have three different rate constants now remember the reaction rate is faster at higher temperature because actually the rate constant is faster at higher temperature okay now the second number five it's numbered incorrectly here on page 42 of your post lab. It says, prepare an arrhenius plot to determine the activation energy in kilojoules per mole. Print the splatter, scatter plot only the chart and attach it here with a staple, not at the end of the lab. Write the equation for the best fit line. I've prepared a Google spreadsheet that I've shared with people. And um, you can, this is protected. You can't edit anything, but you can make a copy uh, into your own Google Drive and then edit the copy, okay? And uh, what you'll want to do is, I've, I've labeled these trial one, two, and three, but th these are really temperature one, temperature two, and temperature three. So temperature one, let's say your data was, uh, you know, instead of 24 degrees, let's say it was 22 degrees Celsius, so you just punch that in there. And let's say instead of 35, you had, um, I don't know, 32.1 or whatever. And instead of 48, it was, you know, 49.3. This depends on, you know, your data. Okay. And I would, I would enter these temperatures and record all temperatures to the nearest uh, decimal place. I'm, not, I'm just making up data here, but, you know, of course you did your experiment. Now your rate constants, you've already measured those. So you would, you know, edit this cell and type in whatever your rate constant is. Okay. So you need to change the blue data here. All right. And once you change all of those numbers here, what you'll see over here is a graph, okay, that, um, you know, that is uh, computed for you. And on this axis uh, here, we have uh, one, over, 1 over temperature, and that's in Kelvin, units of Kelvin, okay? So um, in, the, in the spreadsheet, it's doing all the math for you. On the vertical axis, we have the natural log of K. And this should be a straight line, okay, a straight line. You can see how there's some scatter here in my data. Now, over here in the uh, spreadsheet, you've got the uh, slope, okay? That's the slope. Um, you know, Y is equal to MX plus B. The slope is 2,832.5. Uh, the intercept, okay, is... Uh, minus 14 there and the activation energy um, you know there's there's a calculation if you look at the bottom of the screen here it's r times you know b10 over a thousand so it's it's calculating there for you what the um, what the activation energy um, is now this this should of course be a positive number but this i'm just making up all these numbers so they're all goofy here on the graph so uh, that's the activation energy that you would actually um, report on your lab the activation energy is you know and then here if you select this uh, screen and then you should have the option okay so if you if you click on the graph you should be able to print that graph only if you're having trouble you can make a screenshot and copy and paste that into a um, note not notepad but the paint program and then just print that only okay so print only this thing don't print the whole screen with all the numbers and everything just your graph um, 
what you'll want to do is uh, also write the equation for the best fit line. So y is equal to mx plus b. Here's um, the, uh, the, the slope, which is m, and here's the intercept, which is b. Okay. In question six, it says based on the Arrhenius plot, comma Arrhenius equation, comma and rate equations you studied, what temperature increase is necessary to increase the reaction rate by a twofold increase? Now you can do this uh, mathematically or examine the data, you know, or mathematically using the two-point Arrhenius equation. All right. So that's basically how you do the Arrhenius plot, and this will be shared to ev everyone in the class.